Good morning. Uh, um, thank you so much for your patience answering some questions. I just want to ask you specifically about of course. the whole issue of homeless housing. So I, I was <clears throat> able to visit one of the programs that really focuses on housing for young people. And the thing that was so striking to me is that it's really a very strong organization. They, they do a very excellent job. Uh, they serve young people, um, I believe up to maybe age 24 or so. And, um, but pra for practically every young person in that program, in that facility, with excellent supports, great service, great outcomes, but it took basically a whole st staff department to figure out how each of those young people, how their service was funded. So it just occurs to me that we have a great investment in terms of homeless housing, but there are so many different regulations for the same population. I just don't understand. So I, I, my question to you is, to what extent are we looking to coordinate the funding streams and the regulations and the guidelines and all of those things between the different agencies, you and other commissioners, uh, HCR and uh, whoever else is doing housing, so that there is uh, um, a uniform way of looking. If a person is homeless, if they were just recently homeless, if they were about to be homeless, why should we have a different set of regulations for each of those different categories? So that's one, one question that I have. And, and the other uh, thing that I would like to, to, to uh, ask you to, to, to comment on, the, all over the state, uh, we've been traveling around the state, and everywhere we go, homeless and housing are critical issues for practically all of the different categories of people who are vulnerable, and families in particular. Um, so how are we looking at this as a statewide issue but looking at the different regions, what their needs are, and ways in which we can tailor our activity to meet the needs uh, from Long Island to uh, the rest of the state. And um, the last part of my question is, families and children are particularly vulnerable. The way that we, so, so children also need to be able to get into a school um, no matter where they end up, mm -hmm. where their family ends up, whether it's uh, the Bronx or Brooklyn or whatever. And many times we have families who are temporarily housed in Brooklyn, children left school uh, and, and have to go all the way back to the Bronx and it just creates an impossible life uh, for, young, for children uh, whose families find themselves in homeless shelters in particular. So I, I would like to hear how you are looking at trying to figure out how a resolution or a solution to some of these issues that we're talking about. I'd like to start by saying that may be the best question I've ever been asked. And you only have a minute, so we'll, 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 we'll take it in writing. I know, we'll take it in writing, but whatever Very you comprehensive. have to say, it would be helpful. I'll go fast. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, I understand, like, I, I, I've, I've been in, in these shelters, I've seen the issues, and I understand the importance of being able to make sure that children can go to the school and keep a continuity in what that can mean in the quality of an individual's life. What that means also for the entire family, for after, after school programs, for the like. So there is a significant commitment to that in the shelters at this point, but I always say we can do better. And so there's a reality on that front. The homeless services plans that, you're, that we're talking about, when you hear us mentioning those, those really are designed to be able to better coordinate services. That's the next logical step. First, to develop the homeless services plans and then to begin to work on a level of coordination between agencies, between local districts in the state to ensure that it's seamless and to make sure that there isn't waste when it comes in the process, to make sure the services that are delivered are actually benefiting the individuals who are in need. 
and streamlining, just over the wire. streamlining regulations, please. Correct. Thank you.